Look closely and you'll see Joanne Demore's home in Rutland moving, the entire structure being carefully jacked up. Here it is at high speed, the house cut from the foundation, utilities, electric, plumbing all severed and being raised five feet in the air to make way for a whole new basement. It's surreal, but at the same time, I'm so glad it's happening that, that the process is happening, that we're in the process, we're going forward with remediation, we're gonna get it done. We first met Joanne Demore three months ago. So the most noticeable ones are cracks like this up here. She took us into her basement to show us how it was crumbling and with it, her life savings. I worked to pay off my mortgage for, for years. You pay it off, you want to go pull the equity out, and you find out you don't have any. A house like this is between 175 and as much as 230000 The project to lift Joanne's home, tear out the old foundation, and pour a new one is $200,000, which she's paying out of pocket because insurance won't cover it, or most foundation issues. The problem is pyrotite, a naturally occurring mineral found underground, and streaks of it run through central mass. Put a quarry over one of these veins, pyrotite gets into the concrete, and in a decade or two will start to crumble, which is what's happening in home after home. This is a massive project and a massive issue for Massachusetts. We need everyone's help. I'm guessing that this is not the only home in this neighborhood with this issue. State Senator Ann Gobi represents this town and introduced a bill to tackle the pyrotite problem, as thousands of homes in Massachusetts could be ticking time bombs. The bill requires quarries to periodically test their concrete, like some neighboring states already do, and requires insurance companies to pay into a state fund to help homeowners fix their homes. Homes. But the bill is stalled in committee. Still, Senator Gobi says there is some progress. In the budget that is on the governor's desk is the quarry testing provision, and uh, I certainly hope that he is not going to use his veto pen on that. I think for people seeing it, yeah, there's a lot of people stopping by and asking questions. Joanne Damore thinks a lot of people are biding their time, waiting for the state to pass a plan to help. If that bill goes through, that's going to be huge for everybody. Then a lot of people can be like, okay, now I'll test because now I know there's a remediation. I know I have help. And the budget that's on the governor's desk right now also includes reimbursement for people to test their foundations. But again, the big piece of this, which is helping to cover the cost of foundation replacement in Connecticut, by the way, for years now has been paying up to $190,000 per home. That bill here is still stuck in the Ways and Means Committee. We asked the chair of that committee, State Senator Michael Rodericks, for an update. We did not get a call back this week.